Welch me up. <laughs> oh, and I have this fabulous <laughs> covenant. Okay. No, it doesn't! Wait, no, it doesn't! No, it doesn't! No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> well, if you want real food, you can do this. No, stand up and pour it on the So that's for you. Oh, um, can you get Pepsi? Pepsi? Yeah. You don't like ceramics? Not really, no. Oh. Okay. I'll well, get your Pepsi. <laughs> Yesterday, government officials discovered poisonous toxins in aluminum cans, more specifically, soda cans. Across the nation, thousands of people have already died by exposure to the poison. We have a representative from an independent bottler to explain this phenomenon. The cause of this devastating event can only be described as an accident. One of our aluminum carrying trucks was hit by a tsunami storm during one of its routes. Luckily, the truck managed to survive the tsunami, but it is believed that the water was heavily polluted and contaminated the aluminum. However, no checks were applied to the aluminum and the green light was given for it to be used for soda cans. Rocco! We now presume that the aluminum releases a poisonous gas when mixed with carbon and oxygen gas. Such happens when you open one of these soda cans. The effects of the poison are lethal. The victim becomes death, blood begins to pour out of their ears until the victim finally dies due to excessive buildup of blood in the brain. This is an unbelievable tragedy and we demand that all soda cans be disposed of properly. There will be military troops going through each city and town to collect these deadly cans. Government officials have already taken as many cans as possible from several major grocery stores. Please spread this news to all family and friends. The government is asking for your full cooperation if we are to survive this.